Good morning. So the plan for this morning was to get up very early before sunrise and then hopefully capture uh, the colours in the clouds. Um, I've set off a bit late and I'm sorry about the shaky footage uh, but as you can probably imagine uh, I'm in a rush but wow look at this scenery isn't that incredible um, so I'm going to head down a bit further and hopefully I'm going to get this shot I've been looking at a place called Friars Crag So I found Friars Crag um, and what I'm going to go for, I'm going to go for a panoramic shooting right across the, the whole of the bottom of Derwent's Water. Um, I'm going to be shooting over towards the mountains just over on the left and then the Cat Bells just over on the right here. Um, it's really quite nice this morning, there's not a lot of wind. I'm going to go for a, a panoramic shot, so I've got my camera set onto a vertical uh, position, so onto portrait, and I'm going to do a series of probably about eight shots and then put them into Lightroom and then push them all together. Um, fingers crossed it's going to turn out beautiful. Again, I am a bit late, so here we go. The most important thing about doing uh, the panoramic is getting your tripod nice and level. So as you pan around, you don't lose too much of your image. I've got my Sigma 10 to 20 and now I'm using my Nikon. I'm going to go for a different composition this time. I'm shooting across from Friars Crag over towards the Cat Bells just over here. Um, and the light's just starting to come up over the, side, over the hills on the other side. And it's starting to light up and create really impressive shadows. Um, I'm going to go for a stitch again of a, a portrait type shot. Um, I'm going to stitch probably about four or five shots together. I'm going to come from this tree all the way here, all the way around until I'm just sort of starting to clip these branches and this is what it's going to do, it's going to frame the image to give it that sort of one, making you want it to look into the image. There's not really any leading lines um, but the mountains are just absolutely stunning. So I'm going to get that shot now. come down and I found my next composition um, I'm sorry there's not been a lot of talking um, but I have taken some extra images I'll show them on screen now um, but what I've done is I've come down and I was planning I was looking at the area and I was like right never panoramic easy job done spot on um, but what I've actually decided with my uh, my Sigma 10 to 20, probably shooting at about 16 mil due to the uh, crop sensor. Um, but I'm actually going to shoot just just landscape, just landscape, nice and simple, no nothing fancy. I'm just going to shoot landscape. Um, and the shot that I'm going to go for is I'm going to shoot across these little trees here. I'm going to have the mountains in the background all lit up as they are, they look absolutely stunning. And then I'm going to have these little rocks just in the centre, acting as a leading line to lead me through to the island and then around up into the, in the mountains. So I've got my camera all set up now. Uh, the shot that I'm going to go for um, is beautiful, absolutely stunning. Um, I think this is going to be a proper winner of the morning. 
Um, I've got my camera set on one tenth of a second. I've got it on F18, ISO 100, and I've got my polarizer on. Um, so that's gonna really cut through the glare in the clouds, and it's gonna really make that image nice and sharp. Um, so I'm gonna put it on a two second timer. I've got it shooting underexposed, just so then when I boost up the highlight, uh, boost up the shadows, I've still got them, but I can drop them highlights and make the sky really moody. So the colours are looking absolutely dreamy, absolutely dreamy, um, and you should be able to see it on your screen now. But that is the end of my early morning vlog. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the show. If you've really enjoyed it and you want to see more content, maybe give me a subscribe. Um, if you thought I did a good job, give me a thumbs up. And if not, I hope, well, I hope that you come back and see my next one.